supports our 19th elementary school to the Ben Lapine School District. And we're honored for you to be here today. So thank you. This day of celebration, it's obvious, could not happen without many people. And so if you could bear with me, I'm going to uh, provide as many thanks as I can in terms of all the people who've supported our district in the past and specifically with our 2017 bond. First and foremost, I'd like to thank our school board members. And if you would, just I'll have you stand real quick. Sherry Helt, Julie Craig, board chair Andy Hyde, who will be our master of ceremony in a moment, Ron Gallinat, Carrie Douglas, and Peggy Kincaid. Their work is truly remarkable in terms of their unwavering dedication to our students. Uh, and with that, I'm uh, greatly appreciative to be able to partner with them for the outcomes that we get to do every day on behalf of the students we serve. In addition to that, I'd like to thank a few other public officials here who are champions for our schools and students. Um, I believe that everyone uh, that's on the list is here. And if not, we'd still like to recognize them for their partnerships. Sheriff Shane Nelson. I believe Senator Tim Knope is here or on his way, and will be here in a moment. BEA President Janelle Rebick. And Captain Paul Kansky for Chief Porter. Ben, please. In addition to those public, uh, public figures, I uh, really would like to thank um, Vicki and Kendall Brownrig, the original landowners of this site. We appreciate your partnership and commitment, which will enable all of us to build this school, which will serve children for generations. So if we could recognize the ground rates and stand, please. Thank you. Thank and as they've seen, we've actually already started breaking ground. <laughs> To all those that have volunteered to get the word out in terms of the uh, support that was needed to bring forth the successful bond in 2017, um, you volunteered your time, your resources. I know many of you are here, and if you could please stand uh, at this time, and we'd like to recognize you, all those who put out ex extra effort being out there, volunteering time, energy, and resources for the bond. So please stand. We'd like to thank the voters of obviously Ben, Sun River, and Lapine for their unbelievable support. Um, in fact, we had almost 60% support for the 2017 bond. Uh, and that work is based on a long legacy of great people and great leaders in this community stepping forth on behalf of our students. The 2017 bond not only brings forth this elementary school, but a new high school in Southeast Bend and up to 150 other projects across the district. And we're extremely grateful for that on behalf of the students we serve. This is needed, and it's needed really in this location as more than half of our current elementary schools are at or over capacity. Um, and we're just very fortunate, again, for the partnerships that have provided this location to serve our students and help us to balance enrollment across all the, uh, the schools that we serve. We are, in fact, growing on average by 300 students a year for the last 30 years. That's almost half of an elementary school worth of students. Um, so this uh, is critical to keep the great education opportunities in front of our students. Uh, in addition to that, I'd like to thank all of our staff members, parents, and community members for their support today uh, and into the future. And I would like to offer a special thanks to the students who are sitting around the outsides who we're going to hear uh, their amazing performance here in a few minutes. Um, we want to thank you for not only brightening this event with your music, but most importantly, uh, for your presence to serve another purpose and to remind us that it's not brick and mortars that really make our schools what they are. It's what's happening inside those buildings. And we'd like to celebrate that with you today. And we hope you will remember this event uh, as the school becomes something uh, that is an icon in our community. So I appreciate you being here and the teachers, principals, bringing them forth. Our mission is simple, um, but not easy. Uh, we believe it's profound. It's to know each of these students and the other 18,400 or more in our district by their names, by their strengths and their needs, so that ultimately each one of these is prepared for their next steps. Uh, this school is a step in that process in delivering on that dream and that reality for these students. Uh, and we appreciate your attendance here today. And with that, I'll turn it over to Board Chair Andy High. First off, thanks uh, everyone for coming. Andy High, I was told I was going to give a quick speech. Now all of a sudden, I'm Master of Ceremonies. So it may be bumpy, but we'll get through it just like the drive into the site. Um, you know, looking around this site, uh, It'll hold over uh, 600 students, uh, faculty, staff. It's kind of incredible once you think about it that this used to be on the far edge of town. 
you know, uh, some of you probably remember shooting sage rats or something out here at one point in time, uh, riding motorcycles, doing that sort of thing. Uh, now it's going to host an elementary site. Um, it, it, in addition to this being an elementary school site, it's going to be a hub for this, this region, this area. Uh, all of them build. We, we find now that builders, developers want a school before they build the homes because they know what that community creates. They know what that walkability, uh, having their kids be close to school, to be able to run there after school and do a basketball game or do a soccer game or just to recreate. Um, some even like to run their dogs. We just ask that you pick up the poop afterwards. Um, this, this, as you can see, has already got started. There are already dozens of people working here. Uh, this school district is the second largest employer in the, in the region. And we're excited to add more of, of the team coming here and expanding. Our schools continue to grow, not just in size, but also in achievement. For instance, in 2017, the class of 2017 recorded the highest graduation yet. As you've heard in Oregon, that's a big challenge, and we're continuing to, to face those challenges. I look forward to seeing the first class of this school's elementary students will be achieving when they graduate in the mid-2020s. We should have flying cars by then, I think. Um, our district's strong reputation means that our schools are driving factors for many folks moving into the region, as I mentioned earlier. I'd like to thank everyone who came out and support uh, this school today and the area. I'd also, I'd also like to thank my colleagues for their uh, hard work that they do to get there, the, the uh, campaign chairs, the people that contributed money for this uh, bond campaign. It's not easy to part with your hard-earned money, uh, but uh, when we see this in, in, in the fall, uh, next fall, we're going to be really excited about what we see. With that, I'd like to introduce uh, former State Senator Neil Bryant, who I had the fortunate ability to co-chair the last bond campaign with. And you know, since he's retired, he had nothing else to do. He decided to step up and help co-chair this one as well. So with that, I'd like to introduce Neil Bryant. What a glorious afternoon. When uh, Mary Neil Bryant came to Bend in 1973, there was Bend High, two junior highs, uh, I think three grade schools. The new, the new grade school was Jewel Elementary, which was outside the city limits. And uh, our, our children went through the system. Uh, they got a wonderful education, uh, got into the University of Washington, which Shay's really happy about because he's a graduate of the University of Washington. And now we've had three grandchildren graduate through the system. And uh, they've gone to the University of Chicago and tour at Pomona. I, I mention that not only because I like to brag as a grandfather, but because it shows, again, the quality of the education that they can get into those type of, of schools. Um, in the 1980s, I was chair of the Chamber of Commerce, and we're trying to recruit and retain businesses here. We're in a recession. And, and one of the biggest drawbacks was that the, the new businesses said, we don't like your K-12 system. We don't think it's very good. And, and uh, what, what a different attitude now. Um, people come here because of our educational system. And part of that is because we've built so many wonderful schools in the last 20 years, 10. We haven't had a failed bond since 1960, 1996. Um, the, the, for an elementary school opening for teachers right now, there are 100 applicants. So the teachers, good teachers, want to come here too. And, and that's based all on this educational system that we've developed here, and it includes CLCC and OUS Cascades. It's also important to the economy, uh, the jobs it creates. It used to be a multiplier effect of $3.5 of every construction job in this type of work would be turned in the community. And so that, that creates living wages, more than living wages, and hopefully happy workers who want to stay here. And, and with, with the schools and their improvements, it also keeps our kids here. They return after they graduate. And, and that's a strong strength that every community needs. So this bond, 268 million bucks. And when, when Shay told me that was, and Brad, what, that was what they were looking at, something under 300 million, I said, we'll make it well under 300 million since we were gonna chair the campaign. But it passed. 
approximately 60% of the voters. And uh, a new high school down on 15th and then this elementary school and then 150 other projects that continue to upgrade and, and make our schools better. So um, congratulations to all of us, including you. Um, the way we're going, we'll probably have to do this again in the next couple of years, but I look forward to your support. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Neil. Uh, wanted to recognize uh, the mayor just got here, Mayor Casey Rhodes. He was observing the street construction, making sure it's the code. In fact, you'll hear me say this a couple times. When you exit today, it's right turn only. No left turn, right turn only. Uh, so you'll hear that a few times. I'm sure some of us will still try to turn left. Um, the next person I'm really excited to introduce, uh, I've got to know him for a while, uh, is Principal Kevin Garrick. He's the current principal at Pine Ridge after much protest from me. For those who don't know, my three young people go to Pine Ridge Elementary, uh, but I know they're in good hands. He's the last year's principal of the year for Ben Lapine Schools and is going to really be able to uh, lead a great school, uh, even with my protest. So with that, Kevin Garrick. Good afternoon. Um, I'd like to say thank you to our community for supporting the bond to build this elementary school. This is such an exciting time, and I'm honored to be named the principal for this new elementary school. What an exciting time for the community, the community, our future students, and teachers and families. Um, the, the more than 70,000 square foot school that is energy efficient is modeled after Silver Rail. Looks a little different on the outside, but pretty similar on the inside. And it's a two-story two design with 24 classrooms and um, a dedicated common area space for lunch and um, breakout groups. And then also a dedicated gym as well, which is very nice for um, having those two separated. Looking ahead, I'm excited to work together with the community to determine the name of the school and then work with the students to determine the mascot and the colors, which I'm sure they'll be very excited to do. And I feel pretty fortunate that I have the opportunity to collaborate with teachers and the community to, uh, to just to plan for what's coming ahead in August of 2019. Building a strong community of families to support this school is, is my priority. And that, that, that is what I've felt is important at Pine Ridge. And I really want to make sure that becomes, is a priority at the new elementary school. We, um, we will be so much more than a building. It's what's inside that building that makes a school. And I just think the, the coming together with the community, the staff, the teachers, and the families will be exciting and uh, exciting things to come when we open in 2019. Thank you so much for, for being here today. And I'm excited to be the new elementary principal at this school. Thanks. Thanks, Kevin. Um, the next two people I'm really excited to introduce, Michelle Emery and Christy McLeod, who Michelle is the other co-chair, and having worked with Neil, I know how much more work she did than Neil. Um, and then Christy gets everything that Michelle and Neil don't want to do as the marketing coordinator. So with that, I'd like to introduce Michelle and Christy. You may have noticed we have a lot of young musicians here to entertain us soon. And one of the things that's exceptionally exciting is that, that music lines the hallways of, of every school throughout the district. Um, and there's nothing more exciting than seeing children find their voice or ignite their passion through music. And music education has been proven to help kids stay in school longer, to help them develop critical thinking skills, to work better as a team member, and to continue to thrive in their other subjects that they take. It's how many students figure out how to ride the wave of the bad times and celebrate the good times. And we're excited that Ben Lapine Schools has strong music programs throughout all of their schools. Today we have the High Lakes Elementary School Choir. We have the marumba band and also the orchestra to help celebrate the groundbreaking of the new elementary school. And I want to tell you, um, give you kind of a background on two of the important teachers, music teachers at um, High Lakes, Miss Ruzica. There you are in the back. She's the school music teacher. And last year, 
she put together uh, the orchestra for the fourth and fifth graders, prim primarily the fifth graders, correct? Last year, just, the fourth grade. just these fourth graders. And in a year, it's just amazing. Wait till you listen to them. They're crazy good. I was just so proud when I was able to, to hear them recently. And Mr. Scott and his marimba band, um, there you are over there. He's been teaching children and his students for 25 years on marimbas. So they, you'll probably see them performing, if you haven't already, in places like um, Northwest Crossing at the Farmer's Market. Um, also, too, downtown at um, First Fridays. But anytime they're out and they are making music, there's sure a crowd to follow them. So um, we're very, very excited to see the cross collaboration of both these teachers and um, see the music that, um, that they'll be making today. So with that being said, are you guys ready to make some music? I think the song that you're going to be performing, okay, work with me on this one. It's a South African favorite, Si Aku Dumisa. Okay, yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> well, let's welcome them, thank you.
Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. I haven't hit that high note since fifth grade as well. So really uh, appreciate that. So uh, if, we're going to do the official groundbreaking now. Uh, just to note, these are Kirby Nagelhaus gold shovels, not the school districts. Uh, so uh, with that, I'd ask my colleagues and the core members and uh, Kevin and Shay to join us up here. If you don't trust your neighbor, you can put on a hard hat. All right, folks, we literally need everyone standing to take a seat, please. It's uh, aesthetically pleasing for the pictures. Thank you very much. And we'd also like to invite our mayor up here to join us, please. Grab a shovel. Sheriff Nelson back there taking pictures. Would you please join us? Captain Kansky, please join us. Thanks, everyone. All right, students, can I have some students from the front row come up here? Thank you. You guys are welcome to put on these fun hard hats if you want. If you guys would just stand right here on the edge, it'd be great. All right, students, on your feet, please. We're going to count down from three. We want to hear how loud you can be. And then we want to hear you celebrating. All right? All right, everyone. Students, let me hear if you're ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Congratulations, Central Oregon. We have just broken ground on your 19th elementary school. Take a look at the pictures in the back. We have some incredible renderings from our architect. Thank you. Big thanks to the folks out here working on the construction site. Can we hear a big thank you for that? And thanks to our nutrition services folks who made some fantastic new school cookies back there. Enjoy, everyone. Have a great day. <laughs>